Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome Cross Watchers. If you're new to the channel, glad to have you with us. Um, hey, this is not my normal setup. I am waiting on a new desk that will go right there. Um, so I have to kind of stay in this spot until the new desk arrives. Could be about a month. Uh, so sorry about that, but um, we'll make do, won't we? And for those of you who have been following me for a while, I did post a channel update video. And so I think what I'm going to do is, you know, there's a little um, info. I don't know which side it comes on, <laughs> but it's like a little eye dot bubble and it says info. And there will be a link to that for you to watch because starting November 1st, there will be some changes to this channel. Please ignore the wild ass cat in the background. He has the zoomies right now. That's Leo. Um, and so I want you to be aware of the changes as they come down the pike next month all right i'm pulling from new beginnings oracle let's see what your message is hey uh we just had the big full moon super full moon in aries we are still in the energy of that full moon hence why i chose this oracle deck for all of us you get card 17 miracles happen give the universe your clear intention Yes, and while we don't normally set intentions with a full moon, we do that with a new moon, uh, ain't no reason why you can't set some clear intentions because there's nothing short of miracles aplenty with this um, super full moon in Aries because it's a, a major purge, a big release. It's on the relationship axis between Aries and Libra. So we're really letting the universe what, know what we don't want anymore, what we're offloading when it comes to relationships, right? So give the universe your clear intention, be open to miracles. I love that for all of us but it's meant for those who are watching. Please remember, this is a general reading, not a personal reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Energies can always come through reverse. What that means is I could be talking directly to a cross watcher, so take it, you know, take it how it speaks to you. I do offer private readings. The link is always below um, each video. You have to scroll just a little bit. It'll take you, there's a link that will take you to the booking page. Yes, yes, and I do have openings. I love my cat. I love my cat. I love my cat. He's Gemini, even though his name is Leo. <laughs> and today I'm getting the evil twin. <laughs> okay, here we go. The overall energy is tower. Boom. Okay, so let's let's stay with this for a moment and not panic. Um, right? The bats are coming out and it's letting you know that, well, actually it's not bats. <laughs> Notice where my mind went. Right, this the, the dark birds, let's just call them dark birds, are leaving the belfry, are saying, yeah, everybody's got to get out. There's something that's not sustainable here. And that's why I kind of like that it's happening at this super full moon in Aries. We're clearing out what isn't meant to be, what isn't serving our higher good, what isn't sustainable for the long haul. So let's look at your person and let's look at your energy here. I'll be holding up the cards. Don't worry. I know you're used to seeing them in my old space. We'll get there again in about a month. Um, but here's the thing. So what we're looking at is, and remember, it can come through reversed. Uh, your person is showing up here with the energy of the Knight of Cups. And that is beautiful energy, a desire to show their emotional vulnerability. Um, knights make offers. This is an offer from the heart, an offer of love. Now, uh, what's the challenge for this person? What are they struggling with? Ace of Wands, the get up and go. Um, this person is struggling to receive that 
gift of divine inspired passion to act on it. And the opportunity is the emperor to act on it. Divine masculine energy. So the kindest thing for me to say is that he's very bored. So he's, you know, triggering me. Um, to pay attention to him. So, right. So if the opportunity here to mitigate the struggle with the struggle with the Ace of Wands, <laughs> the opportunity is, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Get up and do something about it. <laughs> okay. So I see what the tower is trying to say is the tower can be an awakening. It doesn't have to be hellfire and damnation. But there's something quaking here in this connection. And it's probably quaking more for your person than it is for you. Because this is someone who hasn't really taken up the gift from spirit to act on that gift, to set something in motion. So in essence, the struggle is the Ace of Wands is in reverse. There's a little failure to launch here. And the mitigation of that, the opportunity is to rise into divine masculine energy and do something. You, my dears, are coming in with the world card. That is Saturn. It's like, well, what am I going to do? You know, because Saturn is the Lord of Karma. Saturn's a great teacher at teaching us lessons, often in cyclical ways. That's why we have the Saturn returns and they can be, they can be a bitch. Um, or we can ride them out and say, wow, my gosh, I remember when, and I haven't gone through that cycle again. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm feeling you're coming in with the world card saying, I don't want to go through that cycle again. I want to close out a cycle so that I can have this beautiful new beginning. And what is your blocker challenge is the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is about cooperation or the lack thereof. Aha. Is someone on the same page with me or are they not? And then the opportunity for you to, to sort of mitigate this challenge is the Ace of Swords. Look, seeing it clearly for how it is instead of how you'd like it to be. That's our story. We're sticking with it. All right, so let's get some clarifiers going for this tower. It's I, like, I feel sometimes I have to apologize for him like he's a toddler. <laughs> he's a kitten. He's two, two and a half. He's trying. Aha. Yes, exactly. Okay. So it's like something's got to change here, folks. You know, we got to bring an end to this sort of avoidant behavior where we're not really on the same page. Someone may be telling us that they are that yeah like oh yeah i'm picking up what you're laying down but they're really not i'm not seeing the death card as an end i'm seeing the tower as the wake-up call as that like oh no here we go again because you're coming in with the world and so we're needing some kind of an end to a pattern an end to a behavior um, and, and there's like this three of pentacles from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new, those cards are talking about what you can't see. It's either within your unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it. But because it's coming out here as part of your blocker challenge, it's referring to the lack of cooperation, not being on the same page at the same time because somebody's trying to pull a slick one or they're feeding you what you want to hear and going in the other direction. Yeah, no, that's not going to work anymore. We're getting a wake up call here. Okay, because that's the overall energy for the spread. So let's see your person, Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, the wheel. So the good news is this person has good intentions, um, but they're leaving a lot to chance. They're leaving a lot to divine time. The old saying, you know, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. They're, they're throwing a lot in that pot. 
This is somebody who does care a great deal, who has feelings for you, um, probably not really afraid to show it, but they're sort of waiting for that sense of kismet, fate, destiny, karma. The King of Swords is a little more reserved, so that's sort of overriding the emotional aspect. This is somebody who really does want to up-level the connection or is aware that that's something that um, would be next up, right? The Ace of Pentacles can be a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles can be, you know, a commitment. The Ace of Pentacles can be put a ring on it kind of a thing. So however that speaks to you, it's tangible. It's something that would get your attention. And the King of Swords comes in with some honor, some integrity, um, but they're also pretty mysterious and pretty strategic. And I'm feeling the lack of communication around it all um, and the strategic aspect and then using almost that wheel of fortune, that timing as sort of an excuse. Um, not really stalling, but just sort of, um, I'll know when the time is right if that makes sense. The problem for this person is the time is right. <laughs> Spirit's giving them this Ace of Wands and they're not acting on it. So it is a form of avoidance. Let's see the Ace of Wands. Oh, so there is this... Um, Nine of Wands, they're kind of still persevering. Uh, they may be a little bit wrung out in this situation. They don't feel ready. That's what it is. They don't feel ready. They haven't given up. They're feeling a little stressed about it. Um, they know this Ace of Wands is kind of put, prodding them in the back, like go, 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 but they're not, they're not quite ready. That's the thing. The feelings are there. The passion is there. The desire is there. Um, the feelings are sincere. And they may be also feeling a little sorry, right? The Page of Cups can be a message of apology as well. The Two of Wands is the kicker. Because that is playing out in their unconscious awareness, which is talking about what they want and the direction they want to go. And I think that's the truth of the situation is that they have not, it hasn't risen into their conscious awareness that they have to embark on that path. They have to be very clear-eyed about the path forward. It's choice. It's a decision. It's a, yeah, this is what I want and I'm ready. And it's fate, it's meant to happen. So that's what I think the issue is. Let's see the opportunity here with the emperor. Oof. Well, the opportunity is to, I hate to phrase it this way. It sounds kind of old school, but like man up, like you're in or you're out. You got to do what's fair justice. You either want this connection or move on your merry way. Right? Take ownership of it. Justice can be accountability. Uh, what's fair is fair. So I feel like that would mitigate all this sort of... of I'm not saying it's indecision. Because I, I don't think they're aware that that's the issue. Um, I feel it's just they're avoiding facing something. Um, they not, they're not realizing. They're coming from good intentions, but they're not realizing that in that process they're avoiding and it's not fair. It's a you-know-what or get-off-the-pot kind of a situation. Good intentions or no good intentions. Because it isn't fair to you. So you're coming in with the world card. Yep, right? I want 
my one true love. I want the love of a lifetime. I am ready for that. I am tired of the round, you know, the loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, I don't want to keep going through this cycle. Ooh, hanged man and, and, the, and the fool. This is a look before you leap. I kind of like this about you, whoever you are watching. It is a, you know, it's almost like I can hear you saying, I know I need to close out a cycle before I can leap into the unknown of a new beginning of any sort. But at least you're clear-eyed, you're clear-eyed about what you want. And you're not sure if you have it here. So that hanged man is doing a lot of heavy lifting to give you the opportunity to evaluate the situation with fresh eyes from a safe vantage point to be objective instead of subjective. Um, pretty mature. Hard to do when you're that close up to a situation. And your challenge here is the three of pentacles. Are we on the same page? Do we, you know, are we in a cooperative, co-creative state of mind in this connection. And, you know, on one level, um, this Ten of Cups would bring a lot of healing, uh, but somewhere along the way, on some level, internally or behind the scenes this is that stalling technique i said i didn't think this person was consciously stalling for time that they were putting a lot on divine if it's meant to be it'll be but on some level you may sense that they're stalling for time so you can't quite get at it uh, the Four of Swords is, does talk about healing, but it also talks about deep thought and reflection. But, so your challenge is, can we really have it all? Is this person invested in that construct of the happily ever after for us as a partnership? But what's holding you back, this is really the, diff, this is really the linchpin for your struggle here because you don't really know what you're dealing with. You don't really know their motivations. Um, or where they're coming from. So it's a hard, it's hard to answer it. It's hard to really get at it. Even if you're looking at it from 30,000 foot view, hanged man. So let's see the Ace of Swords as the opportunity, which would be a gift from spirit of clarity, insight, maybe an epiphany of some sort. And I feel like, oh gosh, this one's getting right at me. Like that sword right through my heart. It's almost like you're seeing it as if they really wanted me, they'd take the action. Divine feminine to the divine masculine. We have the emperor and the empress. And this emperor is the opportunity piece for that Ace of Wands. And this Empress is coming in with some unconscious awareness. If this person wanted me, I wouldn't be sitting here feeling all this rejection. That's the truth. That's the, oh, now I see. But you don't know their motivations. So it's hard, it's hard to really do any deep reflection on it because you don't know what you're really dealing with that's what we will explore in the extended and the extended will be from this emperor's point of view we're going to be looking at their perception of you their feelings um, toward you their intentions um, what are they getting from you uh, what do they receive and uh, how are they feeling with regard to physical fulfillment or chemistry and then the outcome where do they see this connection headed so that will give you some sense of um, the path forward as well obviously you have free will but that's what we're going to do in the extended okay 
So, a uh, couple things before I give you the astrology. One, my apologies for the lighting. I'm looking very, I don't know, jaundiced is the way it's looking to me. But we're going to make do. So, I'm aware that I look pretty awful. <laughs> just because of the long room and the weird lighting. Not a lot I can do with it. Um, I have great equipment here, but it's it's gotta do a lot of work um, <laughs> to make up for whatever the heck's going on in this room. Um, also, yeah, if you've been watching my videos and you have not yet done so and you've been enjoying them, please subscribe below. The changes that are coming are designed, uh, in, in, changes coming in November are designed to help kind of start to boost the channel a bit and um, juggle the algorithms to get my channel recognized and recommended more. But you can still help me help you by subscribing and by commenting and yeah, watch some other videos. Help a girl out, okay? So that's number one. Um, and yeah, the astrology here, I'm taking this to the extended. There are links below. And link number one is the Aries Monthly. That is a renewal. With that, you get the new moon readings, the full moon readings, the monthly energy updates every month, plus the Aries Extended all the way back. As long as I've been doing it, you, get, you can go back into the archives you get this one you get all the new ones coming up so it's a lot for your money every month um option number two is just this extended and option number three is the all access pass for everything i've ever done am doing or will ever do okay and that's also a monthly renewal here is your astrology associated with this spread the tower is mars it rules aries the death card is scorpio we have the Knight of Cups is Pisces. Our King of Swords is uh, Aquarius. Jupiter here in the Wheel of Fortune, which rules Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and our little Page of Cups. Emperor is Aries. We know it's your reading, don't we? Justice is Libra. The world card, Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. The hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. The fool is um, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Um, and the lovely empress is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. That is what I have for you today. <laughs> My apologies for the crazy cat, and I will head to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.